Okay, okay. Let's jump into it. What kind of music do you like? Very hard to describe. Um, I think I had a similar answer when I was here last time, which was that like the highest compliment is to be beyond category, is right. something that Duke Ellington said. So I, like I hope to be that. Um, we're currently recording right here in MIDI with Ahmad. Nice. And it's a new project called Waste Woman with two of my friends here, Ade and Toby, who are also Sika's members. But I think all of our tracks kind of been been different genres between R&B, Afrobeat, pop, jazz, rock, and just really trying to flow in that in-between space of everything that we are. And I think, yeah, as like queer diasporic folks as well, that's something that's a really strong theme among a lot of my friends where within our bodies we kind of live a life like that where we're constantly trying to say we're not one thing or the other. And so... I think also as queer non-binary musicians as well, it's the same thing where we don't need to necessarily constrict and define what that needs to be. And so, yeah, I hope to always be like floating away between genres. Cool. Yeah. So um, what kind of artists do you draw inspiration from then? <clears throat> yeah, um, I would say definitely artists that mix both social activism and art in a really beautiful way. Um, Yeah, I really love Nina Simone for that example, I think, where you're able to fully express yourself as an artist and, you know, definitely put in the hours to make sure you're technically where you want to be, but at the same time not lose that accessibility in your work and not to be too intellectual. yeah, I think that's something that's really important to me. So, again, not really genre-based, but I think I just gravitate towards artists who are really, yeah, bending bending those parameters for different genres and different modes of their work as well between film or dance and music and incorporating all of that in their work. Cool. So how long have you uh, personally made music and how long has the, the Waste Woman project been going on? Yeah, um... I've been making music since my high school years and uh, doing some band stuff in New York and then I did some solo projects called Ginger Brew and I still make work under that name. Mm -hmm. Um, But then Waste Women just started technically this year because we have one of our songs premiering in a Hulu TV show that I'm also acting in. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so yeah, I was able to ask them if they wanted to use our music as part of my character because I play this punk teenager who steals records from Zoe Kravitz's store. All right. And uh, yeah, then I was like, hey, have you chosen the music for what you're going to play back for that bit in the TV show? And they were like, no, like, send us what you have. Are you in a band? And so I sent them this project, Waste Woman. Nice. Um, yeah, very exciting. That was going to be my next question. Like, what have your uh, career highlights been so far? I'm assuming that might be one of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, so... After my time in London, I moved to Los Angeles, and it was definitely a very big shift because I didn't know that many people there, and kind of my main prerogative for going to LA was learning more about the Asian American experience and the community out there, so I've been able to connect with a lot of intergenerational folks and learn more about Asian American history in that context, but at the same time, I started getting into acting, um, kind of accidentally, and then... If over the past three years, I've gotten a manager and two agencies and an agency here that I've signed with. So I think, yeah, a big lesson for me was just being present with the flow and what's being asked of you instead of trying to dictate what your path is, but saying like, what are the opportunities that are coming to me? And am I still able to authentically show up as myself throughout all of that process? Yeah. And uh, yeah, acting was one of those opportunities for me. So yeah, this year I booked my first uh, commercial, international commercial, uh, three TV shows, and then two short films as well. So career-wise, I've been kind of flexible to, yeah, kind of uh, expressing myself through different mediums, through acting, music, and film. Eclectic mix. Yeah. What's going to happen in 2020? 
2020. We are releasing this EP as Waste Woman, yeah. which is very exciting, and we're timing it with the premiere of the TV show that I'm acting in. Okay. Um, so yeah, there will be a TV show out that I'm acting in, a new album, hopefully unknown things that I don't quite have my finger on yet. What's the concept of the EP? Or uh, are yeah. there any like, lyrical <coughs> themes or musical themes that you can... Yeah, the concept of the EP, I mean, we're all stemming from, as queer diasporic beings, from Afro-Asia backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And so in this EP, we're really trying to mix both of our cultural traditions and mother tongues as well. Uh, Toby speaks Yoruba and I speak Japanese. And mm -hmm. so we're weaving together folk tales that we share or similar ideas around like loneliness around family around love and yeah tying that all together to create like a new possible universe for queer diasporic afro-asian folks cool um i was gonna ask you about important lessons you've learned along the way you already uh, mentioned one of them mm -hmm. is there anything else with your vast experience that you can share Hmm. Anything you wish you'd known back in high school, for example, or yeah, I think uh, I'm I'm just now learning the practice of just grounding yourself on a daily basis, and I wish that's something that I always prioritize because as important as I think it is to remain open to the flow of whatever comes and being flexible to that, I think that's definitely a skill to put yourself in every situation and try to remain present mm -hmm. um, at the same time if you don't have that skill of like grounding yourself and coming specifically from that authentic place every single time you make those decisions you're not you're just going to be like in the passenger seat of your own car so yeah. yeah mixing like being like water and flowing and uh, open to whatever comes but at the same time like having that skill to ground so that you can flow while you are completely yourself. Love it. So what is the uh, central online hub for all things you, like your show, Wasteful Women, yeah, solo um, projects? Yeah, so my solo project, I go by Ginger Brew. It's like ninja with two J's, J-I-N-J-A okay. Brew. And then for Waste Women, all of our accounts are Waste Women, W-A-S-T-E, W-O-M-X-N, because we are all non-binary folks. Makes sense. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you for having me.